Hello everyone. Welcome you to my video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a function which is used for visualizing the data and particularly when we have continuous data. Okay. So you must be explored on different different functions to plot uh, different types of data, right? For continuous data, for categorical data, right? So we have uh, visualization tools like matplotlib, we have Seaborn. These are all the packages in Python, right? For uh, for uh, data visualization. So we also have many automated EDA libraries in Python, which you can use to visualize the data, right? So uh, in particular, so Seaborn is a very popular uh, Python visualization library. But it has many, uh, you know, efficient functions, uh, which basically can be used for plotting uh, continuous uh, data or categorical data, right? So in today's video, we are going to discuss about reg plot in Seaborn. Okay. So basically, reg plot stands for regression plot, and as you know, uh, regression it it just tells the relationship between two features, right? So when we use this rec plot, what actually does it give us? So you can use this rec plot to create a linear regression model. Okay. So basically, it gives you, uh, you know, the linear relationship between two continuous features. So when we say continuous features, we have a plot like scatter plot, which will tell you the relationship between two variables, right? Similarly, you can use rec plot, which will uh, give you a regression line which shows the relationship between a linear relationship between two variables. Okay, so let's quickly go into the video to see how we can use this red plot. So as I told, this is from Seaborn. So first I need to import the packages that I require. So here I require Seaborn. So let me import that. And I need matplotlib. So let me uh, import matplotlib. And let me import pandas. So these are the packages that I require. And now I'm going to take, uh, show you uh, an example, okay, for this regression plot. So let me take a data set. So Seaborn has many data sets, right? So I'm going to take one data set from Seaborn library. So let's say df is equal to. So here I'm using low data set function to load a data set from Seaborn. So I'm going to take Iris data set. So as most of you would be knowing about this data set, this is a data set about uh, Iris flower, which has three species in it, right? So we have three different species in Iris flower, which is Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica, right? So this data, uh, this data set talks about the Iris flower, okay? So we have sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width as the independent features. And based on the values of this, we are going to categorize it as either Setosa or Virginica or Versicolor, right? So this, this is the data set we have taken. And here I'm going to take any two variables from this. As you can see, this uh, all the independent variables are continuous in nature, right? So I'm going to take any two continuous feature from this. And so let's use this red plot to find the relationship between those two variables, okay? So let me call this red plot. And inside this function, I'm going to pass my data. So I'll take any two features from here. So let's take sepal length. So I'm taking sepal length as my x. For y, let me take petal length. So any two features we can take. So here I'm taking sepal length and petal length, right? So let's define the data. So here we go. We have the plot here, right? So this is what a regression plot gives us. So you can see a linear model being fit to the given data, isn't it? So it's, and you can see that this red plot is a combination of scatter plot and a linear regression line, right? So here you see both the scatter plot and this regression line gives you the relationship or the association between the sepal length and the petal length. 
isn't it and what kind of relationship uh, do we understand from this plot so as you can see when the sepal length increases right you can see that the petal length also increases right so there is a positive relationship between sepal length and petal length isn't it so this kind of relationship we can uh, understand using this red plot right so you can visualize a linear relationship between sepal length and petal length okay we have a positive relationship right <clears throat> so here if you see scatter plot we have and we have a linear regression line okay and this linear regression line comes with a confidence interval so you can see a shaded part here right so that's nothing but the confidence interval so let's say if i don't want that then i can take a parameter called ci and pass it as none so if i do so i'll not have that confidence interval okay it will give you only the regression line okay so let's say if i want only the scatter plot okay so i can still use the same function and have only the scatter plot by giving by using fit reg parameter so i'll say fit reg as false when i do so i'll get only the scatter plot right and still you can see the relationship between these two features so as the sepal length increases the petal length also increases right so now i try to have only the scatter plot using reg plot function and let's say if i want only the regression line i can still use this function so i'll say i'll take scatter parameter and i'll say false so when i do so i'll get only the regression line okay and still if you don't need this confidence interval you can just use this parameter and give as none so this will remove the confidence interval from your plot right so this is one of the very good plot that you can use when you have two continuous variables and if you wanted to find the relationship between those two variables okay so red plot stands for regression plot and basically it is used to create a linear regression model right thank you